This is Italian, the smell. I it's know. In our kitchen. It's and it's filling it. Talking so about good. memories and smells right I know. here. Oh, Chef Tom and Joy, which reminds me, we wanted to ask Joy a part of our Facebook question today is which which smells bring back memories for you? And I bet it has to do something maybe in the kitchen with you with food. It does. I would say just the smell of garlic. Oh, yeah. I mean, we never cook anything without garlic, and it <laughs> permeates through the house. Yeah. And you just know you're going to eat some good food. You just know garlic. You know, that's, yes. that's a trick. When I come on here and cook, they always, people come walking around, they're like, oh, what's, yeah, what's cooking? Garlic and onion I really bacon. just always throw some garlic, <laughs> onion, and the pan. And the pan. Searing it, so it people just so assume good. it's good automatically when they get that <laughs> yeah, smell. That's a trick. What yeah. about you, Chef Tom? Do you have one that works yeah. for you? Uh, yeah, my, my mother was a cake decorator, and oh. so she would bring home this, this uh, buttercream icing and put it on graham crackers, so that smell of the buttercream icing is just absolutely amazing for me. Isn't that sweet? That's awesome. I love it. Yeah, it I love this question. Back. Back. All it's right, just, well, maybe something we're cooking in the kitchen brings somebody else back, right? Who's watching this morning. So you guys have some peppers cooking, some onions. What are we making? Mm -hmm. So we have a fresh piece of salmon here and then over here we're going to do a, we, we have a um, spicy pepper sauce that's going to go on Ooh, top of it. Sounds good. Um, so we just have our salmon. We added some salt to it. That's you always a nice wanna, piece of salmon. Yes it is. You always want to make sure you put salt on top to keep that moisture in. The salt acts like a barrier and it'll okay. keep your moisture in and so your fish doesn't dry out. And is it always skin down? Yes, skin side always down skin always. Side you want to make sure you get that caramelization on the bottom of the salmon. Okay. So we're going to let that cook and then over here we have a finished product. Ooh, of some that we had. Pretty. We had that salt looks That looks so good. And then do you just end up scooping this on top of that? Yes, we're just going to put it on a plate. We're going to add some peppers and a little bit of the sauce I on top. I tell you what, while I chit chat with you guys, I'm going to let you go ahead and plate that. Right. Is that okay? Of course. All right, Tom, let's go back to the culinary program at Ivy Tech and tell me a little bit about what is your guys' um, mantra, so to speak? Because she said this is like a personal yeah. family type well, program. I like right, that they kind of said it, it kind of hit all spectrums, which right. I thought was awesome. You know, from somebody that wants to be a chef in a kitchen to cooking yeah. for their family right. and kind of everywhere in between. And you mentioned to me even off break that some people may just take a class a semester, which... And that's okay. Yeah, I love the diversity that we have in the classroom. So we have, you know, all kinds of, of people coming in of different ages and, and different uh, ethnic groups and, you know, just people from all over the city that are coming in and learning how to cook. And, and yeah. uh, probably half of them are, are wanting to go into restaurants and cook. Uh, we also have people that want to be restaurant managers or event management uh, people. And so in the program itself, we have eight different uh, uh, degrees that we offer in all around wow. hospitality. And I would imagine even if somebody isn't necessarily wanting to be in the kitchen at, at a restaurant, the knowledge, if they have that knowledge of what goes on, what it takes, yeah. and the ingredients that go in, have to help them be a better manager and or a better someone running yes. the, the restaurant. Yeah. And then you can go home and impress your mama, like you can impress <laughs> your mama who is sitting right over there. Joy, you brought your mom this morning, of course, for moral support. Wave to that camera there, Joy's mom. I <laughs> wish you guys should there see this proud mom. Like, I love it. It has made both these segments for me, <laughs> watching her, watch her daughter. It's been incredible. The yeah. joy when you talk about the food that you made, mm -hmm. and just watching your mom kind of uh, light up while yeah. you're doing it has been wonderful. I'm going to try this. I want to know, try that. what's your favorite yes. thing to make? What's your go-to, Joy? Mm. What's your just favorite dish that you make? Cajun chicken Ooh. is oh. definitely probably my favorite. I love that. Yes. Well, let's be honest. It all just kind of started home, right? A lot mm -hmm. of people's love yeah. for cooking, you know, with mom and dad in the kitchen or grandma, grandpa. Mm -hmm. What do mm -hmm. you think, Timothy? Mm -hmm. So good. I love salmon, and it is. I do too. And the fresh peppers, and the and all kinds sauce. of all kinds of veggies there as well. Uh, you know, and, I think okay. I'd have to take that salad we had earlier, and just Ooh. go ahead and add that right on top yeah. of this. Yeah. And that's, hey, that. no that's how we serve it in the restaurant. Actually, we have the do lentil you? salad underneath it, mm -hmm. and you know, it's the perfect summer dish. We, and we actually grill the fish in, in the <sighs> restaurant. Um, so yeah, grilled fish with herbs and that peppers and lentils. I'm, I'm going to taste some here too. Here that just bite was a second. hot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. hot. It was well, so good though. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Thank you, Joy's mom. We appreciate you as thank well. You. And of course, a big thanks to Ivy Tech and uh, your partnership with